What's up guys, Big Dog back here. Hope you're all having a superb Saturday. It is day before the Super Bowl, and I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited. Um, unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna be getting some snow in my area, so um, even though it was gonna be a very small gathering, um, not sure if I'm gonna be able to make it uh, to my friend's house uh, to watch the game, but that being said, Super Bowl Sunday is unlike any other Sunday of the year, especially because of the, I guess, the theatrics that happen during the Super Bowl other than the actual football game. I do my best to just focus on the football game and not the other stuff going on, although the commercials I love, but the halftime show really usually isn't for me. I don't mind the weekend, but... I am looking most forward to the football game, as I'm sure most of you guys are. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at a somewhat new release. I think it came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, 2020 Topps Chrome Update. This is going to be my only box I open. Um, and I'm not participating in any breaks of it or anything. Um, these are about $35, $40 bucks on eBay. Which isn't too bad, but the rookie class in this product is not strong. It tops update just is not a strong um, product as far as rookies go. Hopefully can hit a nice parallel in here. As, um, they don't make hobby versions of this. They don't make fat packs. They make these, you know, mega boxes. And, oh, they do make value packs too. My apologies. They do make value packs and these mega boxes, but there is no hobby version of this, so you never know what you're going to find in retail of this stuff. They also made a Sapphire edition of it. Not going to be getting any of that, unless the price point comes down enough where I think it's worth it. Right now, it's about $225 to $250 a box, hobby box of uh, Chrome Sapphire. If it came down below $200, I'd take a look at it, but... So let's see what we get in here. This big box just for seven packs. And the big news of the day was Trevor Bauer going to the Dodgers. I think that's going to be... I think they're a, still a step or two ahead of San Diego, even though San Diego has done their best to compete this offseason. So here's the design. Same as 2020 Topps Chrome. Um, same as 2020 update, just with a chrome finish. And that's a good one to start with for me. Aaron Judge. Uh, All-Star game card. So that's... That'll definitely go into the PC. I'm very happy I pulled that card. But the rookies in this set are Rosarena, Grisham, Sitsugo, Devin Williams, who was the NL Rookie of the Year. I can't tell. I might have something here because these are not something backwards here. Ooh. I'm going to save that. There's Stanton. And Big Poppy. I'm going to save that. I don't know if this is going to be autographed or not. Let's, you know what? I'm just going to reveal it right now. It's upside down. It looks like a decade's next card. Ooh. I think I saw the name too. If this is autographed, it'd be a very nice one. Oh, why you got to do that to me, tops? Oh, vey. I don't know why this was backwards. It's not even a refractor. Or it is a refractor, I guess. Oh, man. That really got my hopes up for a second. Would have been cool. I don't. I don't think I have a Pete Alonso autograph in my collection. Nothing thick in here. Cody Stashak, a rookie I've never heard of. Josh Taylor, another one I've never heard of. And the Red Sox pitching was historically awful last year. There we go. There's one. I. There's one I'll definitely keep. Derek Jeter, All Star Game card. This was back when it was at Yankee Stadium. So. Very cool card. And one that I am not so fond of, although he's a great analyst, Pedro Martinez. Love him on TV. 
I also thought in these mega boxes they'd give you a pack of some special uh, parallels like X Fractors or something. Nothing came out of this though. I might have another backwards card in here, but it's probably nothing. Yeah, it's just an insert. Numbers game, Ernie Banks. Not numbered, but we did get a Jordan Alvarez rookie debut. Not a terrible card to get. And a Pete Alonzo Gold Cup from the All-Star Game in, I think that's Cleveland. Yeah, the guitar shape, that was Cleveland. That was last year when Bieber, or I guess two years ago, when Bieber won the MVP. Got three packs left to go in this mega box. Hoping to find some color in this at least or something. David Price. There's a... I didn't even know this was in here. Luis Robert rookie debut. I did not know this card was in this set. I thought this was going to be saved for uh, Series 1 2021. Robbie Cano and Encarnacion. And I'm also... I'm going to make sure this isn't a short print. I don't think it is, but... Update 58. Let me just get... 94, 94. Yeah, so it's not a short print. Still, though, um, two of the top rookies debuts, I'll take them. Got something backwards in here again. Probably not going to be anything. McCutcheon, yeah, it's a decades next of Nico Horner. These, are, these look really nice with the chrome finish, these decades next cards. I like them. Logan Morrison and Jesus Tinoco. Come on, last pack. Give me some sort of parallel in here. Anything. Not looking good. Baez, Ryan Howard. He was a masher. He won a MVP in 2009, I want to say. Brock Holt. And we got a rookie here. It's going to be a nice rookie debut, Kyle Lewis. I will take that. So, I, you know, honestly, considering how poor the set is, I think I did pretty well. Uh, three of the top five to ten rookie debuts. <clears throat> Got a couple PC guys and Jeter and Judge. Uh, so, I can't complain. I will say, though, I don't think this product is really worth the price tag. Um, I'd probably try it and get it around at around 30 bucks if you could. Because the set is just not filled with star rookies or anything. And it's not hobby version. You're not guaranteed an autograph or anything like that. So... Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. I will be back on tomorrow for uh, top hits of the week and a little football break for Sunday. So take care and hope everyone stays safe.